Wow. Karma is a bitch. Suge Knight pleads no contest to manslaughter and was served 28 years in prison. Now, we all know Suge Knight and we all know his history. If you don't know about Suge Knight and Death Row, look it up. Google it. YouTube it. This man ran the music industry uh, throughout the mid 90s to the late 90s and made a lot of money and did a lot of dirt to a lot of people. Uh, we all remember him hanging vanilla ice over the balcony for his life, uh, his threatening to kill him. And just a lot of beatdowns happened to Death Row. And this man <laughs> had his hands in a lot of depths, like um, Tupac, Biggie. He was surrounded around those killings. But this is what happened to him today. Uh, former rap mogul. Suge Knight pleaded no contest Thursday to voluntary manslaughter for running over and killing a Compton businessman nearly four years ago and agreed to serve nearly 30 years in prison. The Death Row Records co-founder entered the plea in Los Angeles Superior Court and has agreed to serve 28 years in prison. The plea came days before jury selection was scheduled to begin in a long delayed case. Knight was charged with murder, attempted murder, and hit and run after fleeing the scene of an altercation in January 2015 outside of Compton Burger Stand. Knight and Bone, Clee Sloan, a consultant of the NWA biopic straight out of Compton, were involved in a fist fight that ended with Knight clipping a man with his pickup truck and running over businessman Terry Carter, who died from his injuries. Knight's attorneys have said he was acting in self defense and was fleeing armed attackers when he ran over Carter and Sloan. Sloan has denied he was carrying a gun during the confrontation. During Thursday's hearing, Knight answered Judge R Ronald Cohen's questions loudly and quick quickly saying no contest. When a judge asks for his plea, he would be formally sentenced on October 4th. The plea deal calls for Knight to serve 22 years in prison on the voluntary manslaughter count and another six years because it is his third strike. Carter's daughter, Crystal, sat in the front row of the courtroom and displayed no visible reaction to the proceedings. I'm surprised he pleaded out, Crystal Carter said outside court. Normally, he likes the cameras to be on him 24-7. Delays, the detours, and drama mark the run-up to Knight's trial, which was expected to begin October 1st under tight security and secrecy. Court officials have said that no witness list would be released ahead of the trial and that some witnesses might not be identified by name during the case. Knight collapsed during one court hearing. Two of the, his former attorneys were indicted on witness tampering charges and his, fi uh, his fiance pleaded no contest to selling video of Knight hitting the two men with his truck. His attorney, Albert DeBlanc Jr., appointed by the court five months ago, was his 16th. And Knight tried to fire him and yet get another law lawyer just a day before the deal was reached. DeBlanc declined comment Thursday. While awaiting trial, Knight was also accused of threatening straight out of Compton, director of Gary Gray. Knight would frequently, against the advice of Cohen and his attorney, speak extensively during hearings complaining about jail conditions his attorneys and his health issues while cohen read legal language about the plea and told knight he was subject to deportation if he was not a citizen knight said ice is coming to get me to a smattering of labs the 53 the 53 year old was a key player in the gangster rap team during the flourish in the 1990s and his label once listed dr dre tupac shakur and snoop dogg among among his artists knight lost control of the company after it was forced into bankruptcy he has prior felony convictions for armed robbery and assault with a gun he pleaded no contest in 95 and was sentenced, 1995 that is, and was sentenced to five years probation for assaulting two rap entertainers at a Hollywood recording studio in 1992. He was sentenced in February 1997 to prison for violating terms of that probation by taking part in a fight at a Las Vegas hotel hours before Shakur was fatally wounded in a drive-by attack as he rode in Knight's car just east of the Las Vegas Strip. Shakur's slang remains unsolved. 
He had faced life in prison if convicted of murder for killing Carter. This is just a good example. I said this about, uh, just to give you a good comparison, about the movie Scarface, my favorite movie of all time. Even the biggest, the baddest of them all, in the end, they always lose. Suge Knight was the, the, the meanest villain I ever seen in the music business. Uh, and look at this man suffer. He's 53 is not old. You know, it, you're not legally a senior citizen, but he he have he's done like his the prime of his life in behind bars and seems like he would spend the rest of his life behind bars. Hey, like this video, leave your comments. Subscribe.